And welcome, everybody, to the Smash News Network, least busted name and news. This video was originally streamed live to Twitch at twitch.tv slash smashamash. Get us to 100 followers by downloading the app or going to the website and creating a login. Let's take a look at things like weather and climate. Just a little bit on climate today. Illinois being coated by lightning. Check out all the lightning there. Almost the entire state, especially the southern portion. And a lot of lightning moving across the northern portion of Illinois as well. Here's a real-time lightning map from lightningmaps.org. It's where I go when I hear thunder. And let's check out the terrestrial lightning here. Yowzers. Hey, Springfield. There's thunder rolling in. Decatur. There's thunder rolling in for you too there, Decatur. Lincoln, you're in the crosshairs. Indiana, you're in the crosshairs. And some spontaneous lightning striking there south of Kansas City as well. Anyway, there's your global map of real-time lightning from lightningmaps.org. We've got some heat advisories here in the south central U.S. around the Mississippi River. And some fog. And what is that in the... Oh, we've got flash flood warnings for northern California, western Oregon, and most of Washington. Flash flood warnings. Make sure you have your kayaks and your hard hats ready. Next thing we're looking at are the jet streams. It's the 250 hectopascal winds from nullschool.net. There you go. There's the jet stream blowing backwards across the western Pacific and the northern Indian Ocean. Jet streams usually blow west to east. These are blowing east to west. Not all that coherent, though. Not a real highly concentrated jet stream. Also, I would note the northern hemisphere jet stream is quite incoherent once again. A little bit more coherent in the southern hemisphere, although we do see some doubled up jet stream regions there. Let's look at the western portion of planet Earth here. Yowzers, extremely chaotic jet streams in the northern hemisphere once again. We've got extreme meridional jet stream bends. We've got cold air being injected into the Pacific Northwest. Some strong eddies here over the mid-Atlantic states. Anyway, here are surface winds for this side of the planet. And thanks to all of our viewers viewing from whatever side of the planet. Leave us a comment if you're viewing from a different planet, plane of existence, dimension, a galaxy, spaceship, solar system, etc. I just wanted to take a quick moment to look at the sea ice thickness and volume. So this is, we're approaching the lowest portion of the year in terms of sea ice. And there you can see there there still is ice up there, folks, believe it or not. And let's just take a quick moment to take a look at Greenland. As we've got, you can see the north, the north shore of Greenland there. There are still areas with like four and a half meters of ice like this area right here. But that's the current state of affairs for the Arctic. By the way, you're living in an ice age. Ice ages are defined as when the planet has enduring ice at both poles. And you're living an ice age because we haven't seen both poles melt ever. And let's take a look at Greenland. As there's a lot of concern about Greenland melting, let's take a look at it. Oh my god, look at Greenland. It's it's all pink. It must there must be no snow there, right? Oh wait, there's 185.2 inches there. How about how about down here? Is that 156.2 inches over the ocean? Yeah. That's 185.3 inches of snow on top of sea ice, if you're wondering. Now this area here, this is the area that CNN's going to cover. Look at that. Oh my god. No snow there. But the rest of the island Shout out to Denmark. The rest of the island there is looking pretty snowy to me. What do you think? Are you worried that Greenland's going to melt? We showed this last summer on the regs. Moving on. 
to thank everybody for visiting our website, smashamash.com. Welcome to the Neo Renaissance. Renaissance. Visit our links. Support the channel. Check out the Smash O merch shop. There's been some new items added. If you're viewing the videos only on BitChute, make sure you subscribe over on YouTube. You're missing like 80% of our content. Moving on to the U.S. Doppler radar map. So there's that. And we'll zoom in a little bit on these heavy storms here just moving into Indiana. Cincinnati, you're in the crosshairs. Also Indianapolis. And this will be moving into Pennsylvania in a few hours as well. We'll zoom back out and show you some details. Here's the cloud layer. And by the way, this moisture is being, it's getting a little bit of a pulse from behind it, which is keeping it moving in that direction. We'll see if we can get any additional insight with the water vapor map. There's the water vapor map, and you can see that the, the jet stream is having some influence here. And certainly this dry mass of air here is the main, sort of the main input on the motion of that moisture. Also, you can see up here the reason why the uh, flood watches are showing up in the Pacific Northwest. A massive amount of, of, a massive amount of moisture moving down there. You can just barely see it coming into frame there in the upper left corner. Here's your recap. That's the U.S. Doppler radar. And if you're wondering the site, it's radar.weather.gov. There's the cloud layer. And there's the water vapor map. Hopefully that gave you some insight into what's going on. There is a low pressure system here uh, centered Right about here. You can see there is a counterclockwise rotation there. That may cause this system to sort of head more to the east as Earth attempts to, e to reach static equilibrium. And thanks everybody who tuned into the videos to reach static equilibrium. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. smash -a mash signing off from the Smash News Network. Least busted, name and news.